Hi everybody, welcome to a special Earth Day edition of The Daily Dose at Home. I'm standing here in front of one of the most amazing animal habitats in the world, Panda Passage, which is home to the giant pandas, Komodo dragons, and our Bactrian camels. This incredible habitat opened at the Calgary Zoo in 2018 and is the first zoo habitat and first building project in Alberta to receive certification from the Living Building Challenge Pedal Certification. What does that mean? Now, earlier today, you listened to our manager of building operations, Nathan, talk about our LEED Gold certified buildings, which are leaders in energy efficient design. But those two buildings, Penguin Plunge and uh, NMAX Conservatory, they were new. When they were built, they were built from the ground up. Panda Passage is a little bit different. So the Living Building Challenge works with refurbished buildings and construction projects to look for ways to be sustainable, energy efficient, bring something to the community, inspire beauty and create an amazing habitat for these animals. I'm standing next to the pedal certification sign which looks out into the camel habitat. And I just wanna talk about some of the amazing things that went into the design of this habitat. First and foremost is the place pedal. It recognizes where we are and that this building was a refurbishment rather than creating a new space. It also is part of a really cool wild habitat protection exchange where in building and refurbishing this space, a piece of habitat for endangered species around the world, 12 hectares, was preserved through that habitat exchange. The next pedal is about equity. It's about creating both beautiful spaces as well as places that are accessible. And Panda Passage has been awarded for its accessibility, its uh, barrier-free design. It's also a place that inspires beauty. If you visited Panda Passage before, you'll notice the tranquility, the amazing sounds of trickling water, of hearing the wind rustle through the plant material that's inside that habitat. This tranquil space is a place that allows us to both be inspired about panda conservation as well as take a moment amidst the busy chaos of our lives and just be in that beautiful space. I'm going to come back to the materials pedal in a moment. I want to talk a little bit about the health and happiness pedal which ensures that for the animals and people that share this space that things like the air quality are optimum. Things like paint and adhesive they're not giving off emissions so we want to create this amazing and healthy space. Now finally there's the materials pedal and I save this one for last because I think it's the coolest. In Panda Passage's construction, 98% of the materials from this refurbishment were diverted from the landfill. That means that things like metal and wood, they were recycled and repurposed. You might remember that this building was once home to the Calgary Zoo's Asian elephants. And so the barriers that were erected for elephants were transformed into bamboo pillars uh, to provide some of that beauty and inspiration for the giant panda habitat. The other thing is, is that we are able to source local materials. Over 60% of the materials inside Panda Passage came from within 500 kilometers of Calgary, which means we're supporting local within Canada. We also used sustainably produced lumber. The lumber is um, certified by the Forest Stewardship Council, which means the harvest is sustainably, produced sustainably, and that trees are regrown in those forests, which protects wild habitats as well. So this amazing state-of-the-art building is just one of the ways that the Calgary Zoo is working to protect the environment while we work to conserve wild places and spaces. The other thing that's super cool, I want to talk a little bit more about waste. So we're going to go visit one of the three stream bins here on grounds and talk a little bit more about waste diversion here at the Calgary Zoo. All right, we're here at one of the Calgary Zoo's three stream bins talking a little bit more about waste in honor of Earth Day. Now the zoo, which attracts many millions of visitors as well as is home to our thousands of animals, produces a lot of waste. And it's really important to us that we divert as much of that waste as possible from the landfill. In 2016, our green team started introducing the three stream bins on grounds, asking our visitors to divert uh, their waste, their recycling, and their compostable materials. And this has been really cool because our concessions teams have been able to source compostable packaging that can go straight into those green bins. And in the years since, we now divert 85% of the waste at the Calgary Zoo away from the landfill. That is enough waste to equal the weight of 87 giraffes annually. 
So today, Nathan and I have talked about some of the amazing ways that the Calgary Zoo is working to be more sustainable through our use of energy, through our waste diversion. And these are things that you can do at home as well. We can all work together because small actions add up to big impact. Take the one degree of change challenge and agree as a family to turn your thermostat down by one degree through the winter. We can install things like LED light bulbs and low flow or low flush toilets and shower heads to reduce our water. We can also recycle and reduce our consumption. Did you know that you can recycle your cell phone and electronics here at the Calgary Zoo and help save wild habitat for animals like gorillas? We can all come together to do these amazing actions that add up to a big impact on our planet in honor of Earth Day this year. Now, in honor of Earth Day, we're all getting more familiar with sorting our waste at home. It's really amazing how most of what we produce and consume as humans is either recyclable or compostable. When we actually get down to it, very little of what we use every day in our daily lives is garbage, which is super cool. Now today for your Earth Day activities, I challenge you as a family to become citizen scientists this weekend. Click the link to the PDF for the Calgary City Nature Challenge, which includes the surrounding areas like Okotoks, Airdrie, Chestmere as well. And you're gonna go out on those nature walks this weekend and document the amazing plants and animals that are in your neighborhood. This city challenge is trying to determine the amount of biodiversity that we have here in the Calgary area as part of a global biodiversity initiative. And you can all be part of that in honor of Earth Day. We've also included a fun craft for you to celebrate why you love our planet. So take, click on the links and thank you so much for watching this special edition of The Daily Dose at Home in honor of Earth Day. Thank you for supporting wildlife conservation and we'll see you next time.